When the doctor told me that I had cancer, I kind of went into a really strange, zoned out place. Then they said, we think you have cancer. Leiomyosarcoma, stage four. I didn't really hear what he was saying to me, and I remember just thinking at the time, gosh, my parents are so far away from, I'm in America, and you know, I can't even see my parents. Obviously it was devastating news. I didn't expect it. It's like, no, it can't be me. And yes, it is. Moving countries, I can't explain. You don't have a network of people around you. So, you know, I moved here for my husband, but I don't have friends over here. I don't have family over here. That period before then, I'd already had a really turbulent time here. I had already got depression and finding out that I'd had the cancer and was kind of navigate that. I didn't really take time to look after myself. I'd stopped doing my hair. I wasn't getting like my nails done. And cancer will do that to you. Throws you a curve in you're like, how do I hit this curve? And it's like, we're going to get through it. That's it. I have a good husband, good support system, good family and friends, and they hold you up and you get through it. So I needed something at that time. And when I came to the Victory Center, I think it was exactly what I was looking for at exactly the right time. I knew that they did things like massage therapy, um, you know, things to make you feel good. That's the things that I started to do when I first came here. And to get away from thinking about medical bills and things that were coming was just such a relief. They give you security because you know you're not doing this alone. You always have somebody to help you, hold you up. I go to Reiki, I go to Healing Within, I do yoga with Mike. I like the art classes. I never did art before in my life, and I just love it. The people here are very helpful. The other pa patients, cancer survivors, are always helpful, giving advice, telling you what they went through, what, what might help you. I'm amazed at the resources that you find, the people, the, the professionals that you get to come here to work on patients. I mean, I didn't know that these people were around. And you have a whole army of, of professionals working with you, and that we're really in this together. What I'm learning here is everybody that comes here, they're always smiling, they're happy to be here, and they're coming here because it's a release and it's a joy to be here. And I think that's really reassuring that, you know, you can't kind of say the wrong thing here. You know, you can't ask a stupid question about your condition or what you don't know. I made a lot of friends here. It's friends that I FaceTime with. There's friends I call, I text. They're surrounded by people that have been through something similar, so everybody just knows how you're feeling. So it's not just massage. It's not just yoga. With great people like yourself here at the Victory Center, I've discovered so much potential, unrealized potential body changed, but my spirit never does. This place doesn't just cater for the people that have had cancer or survived cancer, it also caters for their families and people that have supported through it. It offers hope. I think everybody shares with me here just how valuable it is to them.